Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining us on CBSSportsNetwork.com as well as PBR.com alongside nine-time world champion Ty Murray. I'm Craig Hummer. The first stretch of the season is over. Stop number 19 in Pueblo, Colorado has wrapped it up. We'll be off until August, Ty. But an explosive event here, not just for the Bulls, but for the riders. Valderon protects his number one ranking. Yeah, and he makes some good rides in the process. You know, he opted out of the 15-15, which... You know, it's his call to make. He, he's trying to manage his season, manage his health. Uh, I think the shoulder injury might have played into it a little bit. We saw a bull buck him off in the, in the championship round that probably shouldn't have when he's at his best. Mm -hmm. I don't think it would have. But the main thing is, is he's going into the break. He still has that lead. He's got to carry that momentum forward. And it's tough sometimes because you're talking about a two-month span. Shorty Gorham talked about the dirt here and how it made it tough on the riders. Very firm, adding an advantage to the Bulls. And once again, Asteroid impressed. Well, I mean, the bull power was there to begin with. You know, the ground was just something that put it over the top. <laughs> and, and we saw great performances from a lot of, a lot of bulls. Asteroid, he just, th this is the little bull that can. And e every aspect of his game is so impressive. I mean, we saw him, uh, Luke Snyder go 1.8 seconds, mm -hmm. and I think that was stretching mm -hmm. it. Uh, you know, that really made his stock go way, way up. Uh, it's, that, that battle for the world championship, in my mind, is going to be just like the battle we're seeing with the guys. It's going to go down to the wire, and I'm not even sure at the wire we're going to be able to pick a clear winner. Let's talk a little bit about that world championship. First, we have to give credit to Renato Nunes, who won here this weekend, his first win of the season, and he is very much still a factor in this world championship race. The world championship race is as deep as I've ever seen it, and... You know what makes it's it's like the perfect storm because you got so many guys that are in that mix that have been wanting world championships for a long time and have come up to bridesmaids and you know Valderon's one of those guys, uh, uh, J.B. Mooney's one of those guys. Mm -hmm. A guy that hasn't been talked about very much is L.J. Jenkins and yep. he's now the number two guy. I mean. He's just been slipping up there, but I can guarantee you coming out of the break, he's going to be a big topic because this is a guy that has decided to dedicate himself just to the PBR. He's going to use the two months resting for the most part. He said he's going to go to a few events just to stay sharp, but this is a guy that has honed in and decided this is what he wants to do. And you got to remember, he also on his, on his bucket list of things he wanted to do in his career was win to make it to the national mm -hmm. finals rodeo and mm -hmm. win that, and he did that last year. You're right. He's checking off the boxes, isn't he? Yeah. Still only 24 years of age, a guy that after this weekend, as you have already hinted at, moved into second overall in those world standings. We show them to you now. It's Valderon on top, LJ 632 points behind the Brazilian. Silvano slips to third, but very much within striking distance. Marchi, one of the two guys who opted out of the Built Ford Championship round here, is in fourth. And there's J.B. Mooney in fifth. So, Ty, let's transition and talk about him. Him. We've made a huge fact of the of the fact that he has ridden with his opposite hand, that right hand, three rides that garnered him 550 points. Is the break going to be long enough for that left hand to heal? And do you see him coming back riding with his regular hand? Well, Tandy says at the end of the break, the hand will be healed. Mm -hmm. But what's healed? You know, anytime you have surgery on something that's as important as your riding hand, any surgery you have, you're not going to come back and feel like it did when, it, when you were 20 years old. Mm -hmm. I think there's going to be some af after effects just from the injury, even though it might have been a successful uh, surgery that's completely healed. For me, it's still a big question mark. I've seen other riders in their career. Justin McBride is one of them, gonna say, yep. you know, that dealt with that, and it, it never was the same. Mm -hmm. It never felt as good. He had trouble hanging on to his rope after that I guess the bright side of that is JB's talented enough. He's shown us in a few weeks he could transfer to his right hand pretty well. You give him a little time, who knows? And in terms of McBride, he's the first to admit that he never rode the same, but he still was able to win a world championship with the hand in that category. One final note, back to the Bulls. Asteroid is impressed all season long. We've only seen Bushwhacker a few times. What do you think we will see from Bushwhacker in the fall? Well, I mean, seeing Bushwhacker come back from the, from the surgery, he come back really good mm -hmm. and then his next time out he was even way better than that mm -hmm. so uh you know it's just time will tell i think he's still dealing with some issues there was some swelling they thought there might be a, an infection that's ruled out they say he's doing good they say he's traveling good the swelling has gone back down i you know that bull's tough he it, you know if if asteroid is the, the the good defensive athletic back uh then i think bushwhacker is the ray lewis
or the Jack Lambert. You know, he's tough and, and he's got a heck of a game himself. Well, we will all spread our separate ways over the next two months. Have a good summer break, my friend, and we will reconvene in Tulsa, Oklahoma that second weekend of August.